They are building an amazing house with massive wooden pillars. They start by carving a cross shape at the top of each pillar. Then they stick two twisted wooden beams into that slot. Just like that, the structure locks perfectly in place, forming a strong frame to hold up the roof. Now they've got a house, but rain can soak the pillars and make them rot. Being clever, they add a stick out beam called a cantilever and place a big eave beam on top. This makes the roof stick out farther to keep the rain off the pillars. But there's still a problem. If that cantilever sticks out too far, it might bend or break. So they put a slanted support beam under it to hold it up. Then they want a bigger open space inside. To do that, they make the pillars stronger. But that makes the cross beam longer, which also makes it easier to break. So they add another slanted support beam to hold it. But now those slanted beams make the space feel cramped and claustrophobic. So they come up with a smarter solution. They carve deeper slots into the pillars and make the support beams cross in a tapered trapezoid shape. Then they place a cross beam on top, creating a wider and more comfortable space. But carving the pillar tops weakens them, so they add a chunky piece called a tendon on top and slot in bigger wood to strengthen it. That's called a dow, a super strong connector. Finally, they curve the support beams like a bow and fit them into the dow. Layer by layer, they stack those curved gong pieces, making the cross beam look wavy and elegant. And that's how the dugong was made.